Hey guys, John Corn here, or John K. Just thought I'd show you what I've been working on. I'm still waiting on some parts for the um, for the 3GT, which is kind of sitting in limbo at the moment. So what I've done is uh, simulated a solid state version of the same circuit, pretty much. But the the difference with this one being solid state, it's it's driven by that pick board over there. And I'll show you a quick look at the circuit, and I'll post this to the uh, to the group as well. Basically, you got your Bedini Cole circuit there, uh, but it's triggered um, from a H11D1, which comes off the pick, so it drives the circuit. We've got our primary battery on the left, our coils in the middle. Now, at this uh, during this test, I'm using the two thicker windings of this four filer coil or quad filer. Uh, in parallel, they each measure, measure 6.3 ohms each, which in parallel would be about 3.15 ohms. Um, and then what it's doing is charging up a cap. The cap is a 6800 microfarad 50 volt cap at this stage, and using a traditional Bedini uh, inverted cap pulser to discharge it into my secondary battery. So this test is just running on 12 volts. Uh, at this stage until I kind of tune it and then I might go up to a, a higher voltage but um, basically quick look at the circuit um, ignore the three transistors on the back there from another project but that's basically the circuit there you've got the NPN and the M, uh, PMP in there you can probably see the opto down there uh, the back of that transistor dumps the cap into the secondary battery which is that guy uh, that little battery pack just runs my, my pick board and it's my primary battery so the primary is sitting on 1271 my secondary is sitting on 1244 so I'm going to fire this up so you can see what it does I've just got a little switch on the pick board here so what it's doing is um, it's pulsing the coil five times and I'll show you the code and the, and the timing in a minute so that's the green LED on the left and the red LED is the cap discharge into the battery so it's uh, drawing this stage about 250 300 milliamp pulses it's my primary battery drops down under load to 1255 1256 uh, I can see the secondary battery there you can see as the cap dumps uh, if the meter catches it you'll see the voltage increase there on the battery and I'm just going to show you on the scope this is scoping across the capacitor so it's dumping down a battery voltage and you, know, you can see it climbing up in steps and then it dumps so there's five steps and then it dumps this is the voltage on the cap. You can see we're dumping it about 20 volts into a 12 volt battery. Just giving it a nice kick. Uh, once again, into the circuit, I'll give you a quick look at um, at the code I'm using. So, basically, what we do here is what this code says is the the high B1 is pulsing the coil for 20 milliseconds. And then we switch it off and then we pause for 100 milliseconds so and we loop that five times so that's a 20 percent duty cycle kind of trying to simulate what the wheel does here um, at about uh, 20 rpm that would be on on a wheel and then the bottom bit there the high b0 low b0 um, dumps the cap so it switches the the cap the inverted cap pulser on for 50 milliseconds and then we pause for milli, another 50 milliseconds then we go back to the start and we just keep looking around and around and around so that's it uh, quick look the primary again it's dropped a little bit more a secondary slowly climbing up so we're capturing all the waste off this coil when it discharges into the cap and dumping that cap into there now if I can I'm a bit of a one arm bandit here I'll try and do this without blowing up um, the circuit is I'm going to show you a scope shot across the coil so we've got that on there and let me just uh, dial this in so you can have a look at it okay so there you can see uh, the scope shot across the coil kind of like a, a square wave 
the bottom dip there is the transistor on time and the top part of the, the wave there you can probably see it climbing up as it charges up the cap and then it dumps back down again so that's the coil discharge part of the curve okay that's it I'll uh, post this up and any comments or feedback appreciated cheers John K bye